In Osceola County, volunteers work to fill a truck full of donations for families living in Louisiana and still dealing with the aftermath of Ida. Fox 35's Amanda McKenzie shows us. Ida hit Louisiana as a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. Hurricane Ida left hundreds of thousands of people without power. At least seven deaths have been reported in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. It's so sad. Um, I, I can't imagine the pain and everything that they're going through. So the little bit that we can do to assist them, that's, that's what we're here to do. In the parking lot of the Kissimmee Police Department, cars drove through to drop off donations for people affected by Hurricane Ida. Clothing, uh, food for pets, uh, canned food, uh, uh, hygiene products, personal protection products. It's called the Kissimmee Truck for Louisiana Project. Officials estimate restoring utility services could take weeks. Many are homeless and others had to evacuate without knowing when it would be safe to return. Here in Central Florida, we know exactly what it's like to be without water, to be without hygiene products and power. So when we found out that we could loan our parking lot to the Olon Group, to Vlad, and also Team Rubicon, who's going to be in Louisiana to receive all this all the goods that we collect, we jumped right on the chance. All of these supplies will be packed into this truck to make the 11 hour drive to Louisiana on Sunday. In Kissimmee, Amanda McKenzie, Fox 35 News.